If you can smell my feet, describe the smell. Blue, Blue cheese. cheese. Is it okay to take your shoes off on an airplane? Yes. No. Yes. Absolutely not. Everyone can agree that flying is incredibly uncomfortable and stressful. Of course. Absolutely. I think you should be as comfortable as possible. One, we are already in an uncomfortable situation. Mm -hmm. We spent a lot of money. We should be as comfortable as possible. Yeah. And also, this plane could go down at any moment. Like, I'm going to be comfortable if I'm going to die. I'm going to take my shoes off if I'm going to crash into the Those ocean. arguments are exactly why you shouldn't take your shoes off. Be considerate wow. to others. Just because you're comfortable, what about the person next to you? I should be as comfortable as possible. Go out and get all birds. Go get a comfortable pair of sensible loafers. Get a pair of shoes that you're going to stay comfortable and don't take them off and what? ruin the and people around you. And just because you spend a lot of money, does that mean you get to do whatever you want? So you spend money in first class, you get to pull your dick out? No. I mean, you have to keep your shoes on and you got to keep to your dick class? in your pants. That's it. First class is very nice. Yes. It is very nice. Yeah. And let's keep it nice by keeping our shoes on and our genitals inside our pockets. I don't understand why we are policing people's feet. Yes. You know what I mean? I, you don't have to take your shoes off. We're saying, is it okay to take your shoes off? I'm not making you take your shoes off, but, but the problem is why can't your, I take off mine? Because your feet are the most disgusting part of your body. Oh, you haven't seen other parts of my body. The type of person who takes off their shoes in an airplane doesn't know they're stinky. You're saying us? Yes. I'm we don't smell. Uh, that's what you think. I don't think you smell. I don't think you smell. Thank you. Of course, smelly people don't know smelly people. It's like over there, but if you, I, you know what I mean? Like I'm you catching know, your I'm not going to ask you to smell me because you're going to lie. And you're look gonna me in the eyes you. and tell me that I smell. You smell. You smell. Well, uh, you, you, don't, you haven't really smelled me today. Three, two, one, take a whiff of me. You, you smell. smell. You definitely smell. No, I you don't. don't smell. And the people I don't smell. who want to get so comfortable on the plane, you take your shoes off, right? You're real comfortable. Then all of a sudden, you're putting your feet on the back of the chair, no and one then said your anything feet about are that. on the armrest of the other. It has happened to me so many times. People get very comfortable. They ain't have no socks on, and then all of a sudden, there's toes in my nose. Okay, don't, you know. Okay, you know the expression: keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, right? keep your hands to yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna keep my feet to myself. You will keep your feet to exactly. yourself, but some people don't know how to do that because they cross boundaries all the time. Yeah, you okay, need to set rules and set boundaries. But you're saying you're saying it's as if it's like, well, then there are no, no nothing is allowed because because some people steal from my store. I'm not selling anything. That's what you're saying. That's not it at all. That's a horrible comparison. You're being absolute. I'm saying no, you're it's escalating. Just... It's comfort gets escalated. You're like, oh, my shoes are off. Oh. It smells, but like, whatever, I'm living my life. I paid for this coach seat. No. And then, what do you do? What do you do next? Like, what if I was just I read like, a book. I'm I comfortable now. What if I just, this is comfy for me. And I'm like, man, we said shoes off. And I'm, I'm okay with this because I think we should free the nipple. Sydney, your turn. You're fine I'm with this? I'm not okay with this. And I'm not okay with people who don't have their shoes on. I'm okay with this. No. Really? Yeah. This is fine. Because well, it's not my nipple. Me too. I'm still, I'm going to stay clothed. I'm going to hide my nipple, but you're in the seat next to me. Yeah, go ahead. You're Let saying yeah. I'm uncomfortable you're now, though. I'm uncomfortable you with uncomfortable? this ad. So Why do you want to put it away? Why are you terrified of women's bodies? I'm not terrified of it. I'm, your body's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Cover it up, though. We're on wow. a plane. Mixed messaging. We're on a plane with a lot of strangers. We don't know each other. I'm not trying to see everybody's body parts. Put your toes away. Nobody want to see your toes. I don't understand the difference between taking off your shoes on an airplane and just wearing uh, sandals. There, People wear open-toed shoes all the time. Because sandals, you're not, your feet aren't sweating, so they're not building up a sweat. Your feet sweat quite a bit. They sweat, I, I think your feet sweat a pint of sweat a day. Mine sweat more in sandals. I don't understand people who get so upset when they're on line for the TSA have to take their shoes off, but then they get right on a plane and take them off anyway. It's like, what do you, which one do you well, want? I mean, it's do you want to keep your shoes on or do you want to keep them off? Thank what do you, you for want? proving our point. That's a clear double standard. They yes. make us take our uh -huh. shoes off at the security line, but we're not allowed to take our that? shoes off on the plane. How about that? Are you kidding? Yeah, because if we're in a the oxygen is already limited on so an airplane. So my feet are gonna breathe all your oxygen? Yeah, they are. They're gonna take up my oxygen. They're gonna take up my nostril space. Because that's not how feet work, okay? Yes, 
Yes, that is how smells work. I mean, by the by the logic of the security line, shoes off, shoes on on a plane, it's like we have to take our bombs out of our packages and we have to keep them in our suitcases while we're on the plane. Are you kidding? This doesn't make any sense. Okay, Wait, I what? don't know what you're saying. Yeah, I was like, what? I bring small explosives on every plane that I go on. That, oh. it's, I'm a hobbyist. I'm an electronics hobbyist. You and can't I, do that. I know. Have to stop I have been that. told that they cannot. I cannot do that. There are no such thing as rules when you are in the air. No one controls the air we breathe. And you know what? Small explosives is a fun hobby. I subscribe to small explosives quarterly. I assemble little kits and I put them together and I blow them up. I'm not gonna blow them up on a plane because I'm not five years old. See, this is the problem. We associate all people who want their shoes off with crazy people, yeah, all right? Yeah, that's, that's exactly absolutely. what he's that's doing. No, 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 exactly there is a limit, all saying. right? I am just exercising my ability just to take my shoe, you know what? Just to take my shoes off. You know what? In some cultures, taking your shoes off is a sign of uh, is a sign of, what respect. is it? Thank you. In some cultures, it's a sign of respect. It's being gracious. Yes. You enter a place, you take off your shoes. In Russian culture, it's something that you do to show respect. Yeah. Right, I'm showing but respect did you to watch the Sex guys. in the City when Carrie had to take her shoes off, then someone stole her shoes. That happens on the plane. You I, think someone's going to steal my shoes? I took one, I took one shoe off, and then someone's kid took my one Wait. of my shoes from underneath my thing, and, and I only had one shoe. Wait. And then I had to walk off the plane with one shoe on and one shoe off. It it was very embarrassing. I was in Miami, Florida, and all I wanted to do was turn up. And I wanted my shoe to turn up as well. Listen, agreed it's hard to turn up with one shoe, yeah. but that's not anyone's fault that you were the victim of a random act of violence. Mm -hmm. Someone took a shoe away from you, and what, I'm sorry what, about that, but you took them off because you needed to be comfortable, and you did what you needed to what do. What she's saying is by taking off your shoe, you're susceptible to problems. You're susceptible to danger, okay? Am I in danger right yes, now? Yes, you yeah. are in danger right Let now. Let him take that risk, okay? Yeah. yeah. What you are you gonna do? I can smell it from here, and honestly, it's really disgusting. And I don't even want to tell you what men do with socks. You, I mean, you already know what they do. What do they do? You know what they do with them. They use them to make puppets and do fun shows? No, 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 no. Oh, oh. They put marbles in them and swing them around? No, no, no. They keep little snacks in them, like popcorn, no, so No, that's the last thing access. they do. They, what they do is they jizz on their socks because they are, they're run out of towels, and so then they, they wash their socks with the so jizz they, is literally still on the sock. How and are they, they going to puppet feet, with all that jizz in their hand? Oh, they actually need the jizz for the puppet to actually like no, you stay never, hard. Like, yeah, it has hard. to like no, be it would, stiff. No, the mouth would get too cracked. No, it they would, need that. You need a really soft, um, so, this needs to be soft to do a good puppet. I'm sorry, so you can pleasure yourself into a sock? Yes. Yeah, by putting okay. on a show. Well, I heard that the sock is the broke man's flesh, fleshlight. Wow. That's what I heard. Sock is poor man's. Can you put your feet back in, your shoes? Can you put your rest back in? See, I didn't even notice it was still out. That's what ha that's what happens when comfort, mm -hmm. and it was bothering you. It was bothering. I'm just saying, if you're gonna ask him, you should ask yourself. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if it didn't bother you, you wouldn't be bringing. I it know. Up. I this I wouldn't bother it. you. This wouldn't okay, bother you. It doesn't you. bother me. I can stare at that all day. Okay, then do it. Just get right in you're there. You're not stronger than me. You're not. You don't own me. Okay. Okay. You're we're not just stronger doing that? than me. All right. Fine. We're just gonna all have right, our socks. We're done. Okay. See, that's we're gonna have inappropriate. Our socks. We're gonna take okay. our shoes this, off. Okay. And then it we're gonna get be, comfortable. What is going there on? She's gonna get sock. comfortable. This is I'm not what we're talking about. There should be a no, sock. I'm on the plane. This is what I would this do on the plane we're talking if about. I want to be comfortable. I'm comfortable too. I'm gonna put my jacket on my lap like I do every flight because when I go to sleep, I get a boner. Great. Nice. Perfect. I guess we're both comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. This is what you want. Yeah. This is what you want people to be that comfortable on the plane because just they pay so my much pants. money. So now Order they have snacks. their toes No one sits like this on a plane. This is not, this is you couldn't sit like about. this on a plane. Yeah, this you can. No, me. okay, listen to me. It, on a plane, you never look directly across at the person. You both face the same way. So physically, this argument is fraught she because can, it's not she how can, a plane. She can change her direction if she puts, if she's at the window seat and her back is against the window. No one sits like that. Because this is a plane. Yeah. Some rules still apply. You see that? You see how it's a plane. Put your feet down, put your shoes back on. Let's get it back together. Let's reel it in. Just because you see I give someone there? an inch doesn't mean they're going to take a mile. They are definitely yes, going to take are. a mile. No, it's America. America. They take their this shoes America. off and then they're blowing up the plane. That's what happens. Okay, well then you know what I say? Then I say no TV. Why? Because if you see bombs, you're going to start blowing them. 
bombs on, you see bombs on television, you're going to start blowing them up, which is mm -hmm. a common misconception. We don't like to blow things up. Yeah. We're just bomb enthusiasts. Bomb enthusiasts don't like to blow people up, don't like to hurt people. We just like to see small explosives go off. Sometimes people get hurt. I heard a woman couldn't board the plane because she had like a tank top on and it was they said it was too she was too comfortable. That's they said you have to put crime. on a jacket. That's crazy because people go in like pajamas. Yeah. I'm wearing head to toe Lululemon. The point is I am incredibly comfortable. Everything is sweat wicking, it's um, odor absorbing. May I feel a little yeah, feel it. I'm sorry, do you work at Lululemon? It feels like I'm touching a dolphin. Oh, You're I'm comfortable. Sorry. I'm <laughs> My mistake, you guys are jealous of me right now? Look at how comfortable I am. I look very comfortable. You do look comfortable. However, I can smell your feet, and I'm not comfortable. I don't think you can smell my feet. If you can smell my feet, describe the smell. Blue, Blue cheese. cheese. Mm. <laughs> We're in the ocean. Well, at least it smells better. Yeah, thank God that's what I'm I'm the doing. only survivor. I'm the only survivor because I can swim super well because I'm agile because I don't have shoes on. <sighs> Crash land. We're on an island. Is that a polar bear? Lost. <laughs>